Well, hi guys. Uh, I had kind of planned on making a video talking about the kidney stones. And, you know, kind of really going into it. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, there's enough people out there who have dealt with them a time or two and will tell you without a doubt that they are painful. Extremely painful. Uh, so I'm not going to go into all that other than to say Thursday April the 8th, I didn't leave the house. I had worked up here the day before on the 1850. And I hurt a little bit, but I kept moving. Went to bed on Thursday morning. Oh, man. I felt like I'd been run through the ringer three or four times. Uh, I was feeling rough, and I knew what it was. I really knew what it was when I got up and took the first pee of the day, and it was like, oh, that's not good. Uh, the kidney infection was back. I was pissing blood, and I was hurting. I knew what it was. So, I didn't do anything at all Thursday. I stayed in the house. Too tired, too sore, and just... You just can't do anything. Uh, Friday morning, I got up, went in to go to the bathroom. Felt like, you know... My back teeth are floating. And you go to the bathroom and you basically pee a thimbleful. And it hurt. Oh, good God, did it hurt. And you, <laughs> I knew what was coming. Uh, every five minutes thereafter, uh, it was the same thing. You got to go to the bathroom. And you got to go to the bathroom again, and again, and again, and again. I hadn't drunk anything all morning. Uh, about 10.30, I got a glass of water. I was drinking a little bit of it. And all at once, it's like, I had to run to the bathroom. Grabbed a thumbnail jug. And me and God got real close. Uh, there were a few times that I could not get words out of my mouth. It hurts so bad. I felt like I knew something was moving inside. And it got to a point of kind of just below your belt buckle. And I had to go. I mean, my teeth were floating. I couldn't have drunk another drunk, drunk, that drop of water if my life depended on it. And all at once, I felt it. It burned. It hurt. And I heard, ping, inside the thunder jug. And it was like the floodgate opened. Uh, 
Heard several more hits on the side of the jug. And you know the hospital little jugs they have, you know, give you in the hospital. That's what I was using and I filled it full. But, uh, the last little bit I felt felt that pain again and it burned it hurt it stung and I heard pink and then plonk and then it was like ah. uh, and it was uh, I'm standing there literally shaking I got sweat pouring off me like you would not believe uh, set the jug down and I literally fell down on the floor on my knees because I couldn't stand up anymore after about five minutes of being on my knees I got up and it was like you just feel better already and then I looked in the jug, held it up to light looking, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, I'll put the picture right here. So, let me, hang on. Okay, guys, you saw the photographs of the stones, and uh, after straining the jug out and getting them cleaned up and getting a look at them through a magnifying glass, it really made me cringe but I called my doctor my urologist I had told him what just happened you know passing the stones asked do you want me to come to your office or go to the hospital or what he said if you pass the stones don't worry about it it's Friday he said well, just come see me Monday. I said, what about the kidney infection? He said, I'm calling you a script in. Go pick it up. Start taking them. Instruction to be with them. Said, okay. So, uh, a few hours later, I headed to town, got my prescriptions, come back, start taking them. And... Sat down at the desk to look at these stones and measured them. Now, I am using this measuring tape. It is in inches and centimeters. At least I think it's centimeters. That's what it's got. CM. Uh, laid it out. To get, you know, kind of dimensions. The first stone that came out was that dark L-shaped stone. And it measured four centimeters this way, four centimeters that way, 
and four centimeters thick as an L. And I think what had happened is it came down and got stuck. And that's why I was getting all that pressure. Up. You got to go, you got to go, you got to go, and you just, you know, pee a thimble full. Uh, it finally let loose. There were a couple of small ones, I think, that were stuck with it. They all came out. Then the bigger, kind of roundish one, with all the little spiky things on it, it came out. That hurt. And then the last one came out, and it was in the, uh, me and God was talking. <laughs> God, did that ever hurt. Woo! And from the looks of it, it is made up of all the stones they busted up last year that didn't pass, somehow all formed together. They got I don't, glued together somehow. And I guess bouncing around on the skid steer finally knocked it loose and got it moving. When that one come out, I'm telling you, uh, words could not be formed. But in your mind, you're praying to God, you know, to let this end. And it, it's hard to describe what it feels like. Uh, Kind of like a 10 pound salami trying to be put into a 5 pound casing. Okay, that describes it pretty good. And it was like it was a ball, a ball of wire coming through you. It hurt, it burned, it, it was everything you can think of. And when I heard that bang on the side of the jug, I knew something big had passed. I just didn't dream it was that. Uh, not something I ever want to do again, I'll, I'll tell you that for a fact. That's just, uh, nah, I would, no. We're not going to do that again. So, <laughs> I've been to the doctor a couple of times. Uh, He's run a few tests on me. I asked him what these stones were, and he says calcium. So he wants me to stay away from spring water, uh, drink bottled, filtered water, and get a filter on the tap where I drink water from at the house. Or like a Brita picture pitcher or whatever they're called uh, he said calcium you know the, you you need that but it's either food I'm eating water I'm drinking to get that much calcium in my system because to be honest I don't drink much milk anymore I haven't drunk milk uh, since I had to have my gallbladder taken out. Uh, after that, milk was just, uh, it just didn't sit right. No matter what kind it was. So I, I kind of stay away from milk. Now the cheese doesn't seem to bother me. I don't know why, but... Uh, it is what it is. But just know, uh, it is a month later. That was April the 9th. Those kidney stones kicked in the high gear. 
and decided we're leaving the building. And today is May the 8th. Might as well say a month. And I feel a lot better today. I mean a lot better. Trust me. <laughs> uh, whew. That was a rough month, I'm telling you. Uh, rough six weeks, I should say. Because I felt a lot better after the stones passed. But there was still the next couple of weeks were kind of getting your system back going. Uh, getting the infection out of my kidneys and urinary tract. Getting healed up from it. Uh, getting blood back in my system. <laughs> uh, it's bad when you know, know you've lost blood by how you feel. And trust me, I did. So, we're all back together now, guys. Like I said, I had planned to do something different, and I just decided I wasn't doing that. So I'm doing it this way. So anybody out there, you get a pain kind of here or here or same spot on your back, don't be afraid to go to the doctor and ask them about kidney stones. Because I'm telling you, you don't know what pain is. Sorry guys, battery died. Uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, you might know, think you know, what pain is, but kidney stones are going to show you a whole next level of what pain is. Trust me. Uh, I've known women who have had kidney stones, and they will tell you up and down the truth. Kidney stones are more painful than giving birth. Okay, it's, it's a pain, you can't, <laughs> there is nothing you can do, I mean absolutely nothing you can do when you have kidney pain, kidney stones, and they start moving and hurting, it's a whole new level. Uh, I don't know what they gave me a shot of down at the hospital that first time. The man, I'm telling you, that was, <laughs> whoo, I can remember having a hold of the gurney, they'd wheel me in, I, it was killing me, I was liter literally ready to just start tearing into myself to try to get to it, it hurt that bad, and they brought me in. I've got sweat pouring off me. I'm just hurting so bad you, you, you can't believe it. And I, I couldn't lay there. I just, I had to get up. I had a hold of a counter and I had a hold of the gurney shaking. The doctor walks in. They're hooking all, everything up. He tells the nurse something stat. And she runs over and... <laughs> Doctor looks at me and says, you might want to get on that gurney as quick as you can. And I'm within just seconds after he said that, pain was gone. Absolutely gone. And I better get on this gurney. So I got back up on it, laid back, and it was like, <sighs> you know, words cannot put into proper context how good I felt at that moment. <laughs> but, uh, if you think you know what pain is, you get kidney stones, you'll find out you don't know what pain is. Trust me. 
Uh, I'm going to end it here, guys. I am just, just wanted to let you know everything that went on kind of in an order of what was going on at that time. Uh, I spent kind of the next week taking it easy, getting everything straightened back out, and it's all good now. So, with that, I will see you next time, and as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Like I say, don't be afraid to go to the doctor. If you got pain here, around your back, or here, or around your back, call the doctor. Uh, you might self save yourself a lot of pain. Trust me. We'll see you next time, guys.